Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about the second trailer for Avengers Infinity War. Now we all really wanna know who's gonna live, who's gonna die, so in this video we're gonna break down the trailer, see what we can figure out what's gonna happen in the film, and give you little tidbits of which are my favorite parts. So let's get to it. Now it goes without saying that this is all speculation, and if you don't want any spoilers, now would be the time to run quicker than Quicksilver away because there might be some spoilers here. You didn't see that coming? Now it's safe to assume that Avengers Infinity War happens straight after Thor Ragnarok because we know Thor and Hulk are currently right now in space. Now from the trailer we can see that Thanos is giving a really mean hug to Thor and we can only guess to save his brother Loki decides to hand over Thanos the Tesseract so Thor can live. Thanos gets the Tesseract, breaks it to get the Infinity Stone inside. Thanos tosses Thor into space and he ends up with the Guardians of the Galaxy and then he tosses Hulk into space and somehow he magically lands on Earth. Talk about moving the plot along. And then sadly along the way kills a lot of Asgardians and I'm guessing Loki ends up kind of siding with him and working with the Black Order, you know, whether he's evil or good, you know, maybe a little bit of both, because it's Loki. Now Thor warns the Guardians of the Galaxy that Thanos is coming, the Hulk warns the Avengers on Earth that Thanos is coming, so both group of superheroes at different parts of the universe know that Thanos is coming to collect the Infinity Stones. Now we know the Black Order tries to attack Vision to get his Mind Stone, but we know they're unsuccessful because we know that Vision and Scarlet Witch both end up in Wakanda. Now the Russo brothers have confirmed that the final act of the film does take place with that massive fight scene in Wakanda. So that means we know that the Black Order are unsuccessful in their first attempt to get the Mind Stone from Vision. We then know that Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange chase after Thanos. They meet up with the Guardians of the Galaxy and they fend off the Mad Titan. Now obviously from the second trailer for sure, you can tell that that doesn't go so well. You can see the Iron Man's armor is torn off. We don't know too much, but we do know that that fight takes place before the big skirmish on Wakanda, where we know Thanos ends up trying to get the Mind Stone from Vision once again. Now this is the part where everyone starts to wonder, does Iron Man die on Titan before Thanos makes his way back on Earth? Does Doctor Strange die? Does Spider-Man die? We don't know. There's a lot of rumors going around that Iron Man sacrifices himself to save Spider-Man and Spider-Man ends up getting back to Earth somehow with the help of maybe Doctor Strange, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and they warn the rest of the Avengers that, hey, oops, Iron Man died and <laughs> gotta go down. The second trailer shows us a lot of stuff that we haven't seen before. One of the first things that got me really excited about the trailer was that we finally saw the Black Order. In the first trailer, we already got a glimpse of Proxima Midnight, but now we get to see Black Dwarf, Ebony Ma, and Corvus Glaive, officially. And they look so evil! Now I'm really keen to see what the Black Order are capable of, especially Ebony Ma, because we can see that in the trailer, he's going to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange doesn't look that comfortable, but man, does Ebony Ma look so evil! I just, I love the whole... Now whenever our superheroes get together, it's always cool to see how they team up and maybe join their powers or their abilities together to kind of fight evil. So I kind of liked in the trailer that you see Doctor Strange doing his little like stepping disc so Star-Lord can like jump across, you know, and shoot his just guns. But I just thought that was like really a little tidbit of coolness there. Now Marvel usually gets a lot of backlash because their villains kind of suck. So hopefully in Infinity War, they're really gonna flesh out Thanos and kind of give them a good backstory. Now we know from the trailer, we see Thanos either taking Gamora to go kill a planet, or he takes over Gamora's planet, she's a sole survivor, and he's like, hey, you're cute, let me take you home. Now if you don't know already, I'm a huge fan of the Scarlet Witch. So I'm really excited about it in this trailer because there's this part where she's using her magic. She has this like one look where, you know, she's gonna tear she looks so intense, so I'm really excited to see what happens when she's fighting off the Black Order, both in the beginning of the film and at the end in Wakanda. Avengers Disassembled, House of M, something, come on. Now I think everyone died a little bit when they saw Captain America holding back Thanos with all of his might. That was just the perfect end to the trailer. So Avengers Infinity War is coming out and I cannot wait. It's gonna be so good, it's gonna break records. So what did you guys think of the second trailer for Avengers Infinity War? Who do you think's gonna live? Who do you think's gonna die? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.